All right, so uh, we found the 60D in the Canon Expo 2010. So we're going to get you a little quick hands-on and uh, show you what's up with this thing. So, as you can see, body-wise, construction is a little bit in between a 7D and a T2i. Um, it seems a little heavier, a little stockier than the T2i, although it doesn't have the weatherproofing and, uh, you know, it's just really solid build quality of the 7D. I do, I will say though, it does feel really solid. It doesn't feel like a cheap camera in any, by any sense. Um, so as you can see, it's got the kit lens on there. This is a 55 to 250 zoom. Uh, it's not very fast. It's a uh, you know four to five point six, um, but yeah, this is the standard kit lens. Not 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 a surprise for a kit lens. Um, but what's really exciting is you have this articulating LCD screen. We have it in movie mode right now, but as you can see, we got a full range. You can pull it out here. You can you know shoot yourself. There's Ross right there. Um, you can you know get low angle, high angle. Uh, yeah, so that's a big deal. So this is a first for a Canon uh, DSLR. Um, so we have it in movie mode right now. There's actually a dedicated movie mode for all you shooters out there. Uh, the, the wheel here locks unless you push the button, which is unique. So, you know, you go over to stills mode and now you're in manual control. Uh, you can get all the, you know, you can throw up live view as well, as you can see. Um, but when you throw it to, to dedicated movie mode at the very end, um, it actually changes the menu settings in the camera to be more specific for movie mode. Um, now the live view button becomes the record start stop, and which we can't do because there's no um, card in the camera right now. But it does actually uh, enable a um, new menu setting. So let me show you that. So you go into the menu now, and now as you can see, there's actually a little movie. A uh, little camera button up there, a little cinema camera uh, icon, which means that these are specific to movie recording. So as you go through it, you have uh, different movie exposure, autofocus mode. Uh, sorry, you have uh, ISO settings, different metering. Um, you can change it to auto or manual exposure for film. This is actually the sound recording for manual. So you jump into this, and this is incredible. You actually have, uh, as you can see, it's really loud in here. But if I cover the mic. You see a little difference in the uh, in the view meter, but you could jump down here and uh, change the record level. Uh, you know, adjust it down, up. So you know, we pull it down. There's a wind filter you can enable. Uh, you know, and as you can see now, the view meter is in a usable range, which is great on a camera this small. Uh, we have, you know, these are features that were present in the firmware update to the 5D Mark II. To have it baked in uh, with the articulating view screen, that's uh, it's pretty cool. So. We'll jump back into the menu now and check out the picture styles, uh, white balance, cost all customizable. There's also a, um, you know, just standard still images. Now, interestingly enough, uh, when we were in the earlier exposure for mint, for um, picture mode, for still mode, there was you could adjust uh, your aspect ratio for what lines it gave you. Which it, it's funny that you don't get that option here, um, but I'll show it to you what it looks like if you go back to a still mode. Jump back into the menus. You can jump down and uh, adjust your aspect ratio. So you can choose between 16 by 9, 4, 3, 3, 2, or 1 to 1. So we'll throw it into 4, 3 just for grins and show you what that looks like. So you can see on our on our lines, we actually have the lines for what is camera safe for 4, 3. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting. We'll jump back to movie mode now. And show you how the controls work. Uh, the there's the little uh, LED screen up here. You've got shutter control. We'll set it to 50, and you have your iris control, which is this uh, this wheel down here. So very similar to the 7D's operation. You know, the ISO is here and a white balance, so you can grab your ISO, we'll throw it at 500. Um, yeah, so this is the Canon 60D. Uh, yeah, we're here at Canon Expo 2010.